Hey guys. This is an upgraded version of the multi-function tester for LED backlight and constant current driver board KT4H. More powerful than ordinary LED testers. This tester has equipped a connection cable with hook to test the constant current driver board. You can use this device to help you determine if the problem is the LED backlights or the power supply such as LED driver board. At the same time, its voltage and current can be adjusted freely according to your testing needs. There are multiple tests I can run using of this device. You can test the cable run into the LEDs in your TV. You can remove the TV panel and then test the LED strip of TV backlights directly. Also, you can test the individual LED strip, individual LED panel and individual LEDs. Use it to test single LED bead will not damage your lamp bead although you reverse the positive and negative poles. It can also test 12 volts low voltage LED strips and even test parameter values for various electronic components. If you are a TV repair technician or an LED technician, you should have it and it will help you a lot. Next, I will introduce you to its basic functions. Our factory default setting of voltage is around 330 volts and current is around 50 milliampere. Under this parameter, we can test all the LED TV backlights of any size. Please note here that the voltage is adjusted when the circuit is open and the current is adjusted during the short circuit. The voltage range is 20 to 330 volts and the current range is 20 to 150 milliampere. First of all, we plug in the power supply. Turn on the switch. Keep the device 3 seconds to allow the voltage rise to about 330 volts. Put the current switch into adjustable mode. Then we can test. If you want to run a test with very low current, you can directly put the current switch into 1 milliampere. We can freely adjust the brightness of the LED strips by adjusting the current. If it is too bright, we can reduce the brightness of the light bar by adjust the current directly. When you want to test single LED bead without knowing the positive and negative poles, set the voltage to below 30 volts and the current switch to 1 milliampere. In this mode, the tester is very safe, and there is no electric shock when you touch the probes by both hands. Of course, it will not damage your lamp bead although you reverse the positive and negative poles. It's still intact and light normally. Some technicians often encounter this situation. When they turn on the TV, the TV screen flickers and then goes black and the LED TV backlights can normally look by the tester. At this time, Many technicians may think that there is a problem with the constant current driver board. In fact, the TV is still not repaired when they change the constant current driver board. So what is the problem? Actually, you can use KT4H to help you determine if the problem is the LED backlights or the constant current driver board. First of all, cut off the power of TV. Find the input connection interface of the LED TV backlight. Unplug the interface sockets of the constant current driver board and LED TV backlight. Insert the probes to this wire connection on right polarity. Turn on the AC switch. We can see that the tester shows the real-time test voltage and current. Nodes. Before connecting the constant current driver board to the tester, please ensure there is no open circuit in the LED backlights. The tester unable to provide payload to the constant current driver board when there is an open circuit in the LED backlights. If the ammeter shows zero, please check if the preset voltage of the tester is too low. It's recommended to adjust to about 300 volts. And then check if the test leads are connected reversely or badly. If there is no problem, 
the ammeter still displays zero, which means that there is an open circuit in the TV backlight. And it is necessary to repair the LED TV backlight first. Next, let's connect the output of the constant current driver board to the test using the connection cables with hook on ray polarity. Take care not to short the two hooks. Turn on the TVS power switch. If the testing voltmeter greater than 30 volts, testing ammeter greater than 30 millioper and keep stable. It means that the constant current driver board is normal. The problem is on the LED TV backlight strip. It is recommended to repair it or replace the LED strip. Otherwise, the constant current driver board is broken. We need to solve the problem of the constant current driver board first. KT4H also has a special function. General testers can't do it. It can test 12 volts low voltage LED strip. The testing current can be up to 999 millioper. Suitable for testing automotive LED lights and various DC power supply light strips. First, insert the connection cables with hook into the tester. And then short circuit the hook directly. At this point, we can see that the voltage display is about 12 volts, so we can test it. We can see that the LED strip is lightened. It is very bright. And the current display exceeds 800 millioper. Finally, KT4H can also test the parameters of various components with 1 million per mod, such as the withstand voltage of the capacitor and the voltage regulator value of the voltage regulator tube, and the voltage parameters of the diode. Test Tips A normal LED strip must can be lit. But LED strip that is lightened is not necessarily normal. In general, we combine the test voltage to determine whether the LED strip is well or not. Thank you for watching.